Hey everybody, Judy here from My Divine Angel Reading. Today I wanted to talk about how to know if you are getting ripped off by a scam artist reader. So there's a couple different reasons why I wanted to make this video. One, my personal experience years ago dealing with scam artists. Two, I want to squash any um, any kind of fears that you might have regarding a card reading and what you can expect. Alright, so first off the bat, I want to let you guys know, if you go to a card reader and they are feeding you a bunch of fears, um, telling you there's bad taboo on you, some kind of negative stuff that's it's really scaring you, making you feel uncomfortable, and then they tell you for an additional fee, they could remove it, do some kind of ritual, or try and get more money out of you for something else. Just stop right there because all they're doing is one of two things. Um, they may truly be gifted, but their intent is not for you and your best interest. Their intent is for themselves and what they can get out of you. When I was younger, and I, like I say younger, um, in my 20s, I used to go to a, several different card readers and there was a couple people who were ripping me off and I didn't know that or understand that when I was younger. They definitely gave me valid, concrete things as to what was going on in my life. They weren't feeding me general blanket information that would fit anybody in any scenario of their life. They, they really did give me validation on certain things. But she, uh, this one particular woman that I'm thinking of, she would ask for more money to remove whatever negative stuff was on me instead of giving me the information, tools, and knowledge to do it myself. When you have a reading done by a true professional, and when I say true professional, I mean someone who has certain ethics that they follow, where they are not, I mean, you're doing it for a living, so yes, you want to make money. But the point of a professional card reader is to help people. That's what you do. You have a gift and a talent, and someone comes to you for knowledge or insight on your gift or talent, and you want to give that to them with the intent on how to help them. So whenever I have someone who comes to me who does have some kind of negative uh, thing with within them, with them, on them, whatever, their situation, surroundings, surroundings, that's surroundings around them. I, see, I do that all the time. I, I, my brain goes faster than my mouth. Um, but you're supposed to give that per through insight, through doing readings, the information is there on how, as the reader, you tell that person what they need to do or what would work best for them for that person personally to remove it or what they can change or, or what they can do to lessen that vibration. Now there's all different kinds of other things that, you know, uh, there's teachers who offer classes and this and that, but if someone is flat out telling you, hey, for a hundred dollars, I can just, I don't even want to hear no more. Stop. That, that, that's not an ethical professional reader. And uh, there's so many people who have, like when they think of card readers, they get nervous and scared. They think of, they're just going to tell them bad information, like somebody's going to die or you're going to die at this time or everybody's worried about when they're going to die. Um, that it, a real reader does not do stuff like that. Um, the other thing is a lot of people think of like this old lady with this rag on her head with this crystal ball in front of her who's just scary. Um... I think there are still, you know, I want to say old school people like that. But over the years, it's it's like the generations, like the millennial millennials and the generation X Y Z. Or as time goes on, um, more education and learning comes out. I mean, think of it. Look at the internet. Who they don't even make encyclopedias anymore. Everybody has the internet. You look it up. You learn so much stuff. And people grow and they change and, I want to say, evolve. Um, but, yeah, you do some research on certain readers. Um, if And listen to your intuition. If you go somewhere and 
you're you're feeling nervous and maybe you're not ready or maybe that's not the person for you who you would feel most comfortable reading there's so many different things to to take into account um if you're not really liking how the place looks um if you're really not sure you want a reading why would you even you know do one you don't nobody's forcing you to do something you don't want to do um but yeah just watch out for the people who are just out there for themselves if you go to someone and you walk away feeling worse or scared or nervous that woman or man whoever it was um, they did not do their job they are not they did not help you at all um, a lot of times I'll, I'll give you an example okay so there was this one one woman who sat down um, an older woman like retirement age and she did not look very happy, okay? And I went through her reading, and the first thing that came up was playfulness. And immediately I got her deceased husband. Um, I knew nothing about her. I didn't know she had a deceased husband. And it was funny. The main thing of the reading, I told her, I said, there, there's some self-love and self-healing you need to do. You need to go back to that childlike state. As adults... Um, we kind of get programmed and live through life day to day and what I need to do. And you forget about you and who you are and the joy within life. You get caught up so much in your day to day work and responsibilities and family and so many different la 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 things. Um, and, and usually as you get older, you just kind of forget about the real meaning and, and who you, you are and what life is about. So to fast forward really fast, you know, th this older lady who was in front of me, she, she walked away from my table and she was just like, ah, oh, she was glowing. She was so happy. And the basis of her reading was for her to find her beauty again, her internal light, uh, to stop putting self-imposed beliefs and restrictions on herself. And it, she's blocking herself to, she was just not a it, it was like a lot of negative stuff around her and it was it was her personally doing it without her realizing it and through the cards the message that i got as to how this woman would best come out of it was not me doing a healing on her or me telling her for this amount of money i could do whatever i i like to empower people to do the work themselves there, there's no reason anybody can't do I mean if you want additional help and you want to come for different things that's fine but I don't push it on anybody I give the person the tools they need to walk away and help themselves so they have something concrete to work on internally without paying somebody else to do it for them you have to do it yourself so back to this woman the cards told me this old older lady was supposed to take selfies and she looked at me and I was like, that's what they're telling me. I said, look at it this way. When you look at yourself, you don't see the beauty and like, you need to change how you look at yourself. And I told her, I said, I don't, I personally, I don't do selfies. If you look at any kind of profile, very minimal pictures of myself. Um, but I told this woman, I said, you need to take selfies of yourself. Start you know, I told her, I said, go to five and below and get yourself a $5 selfie stick and start playing, play with it. Take photos of yourself to where like later on, as you're looking through your phone, you're like, oh damn, that's me. Like, wow, that's, I, I, and it, it'll bring out the self, the self confidence, the self love, that playfulness, that creativeness. And, uh, it was a really good reading. We had a lot of laughs, but she definitely walked away with, an enlightenment feeling and a tool to use to help get her out of that dark weighted down place to start looking at herself differently and loving herself and bring out that playfulness in her it, it really was phenomenal um, there was another girl I did a reading on and um, it, it revolved around love and a lot of self-imposed weight she had all these great and wonderful ideas that she wanted to do she was getting the messages for her life purpose um but herself her self-doubt her ego um was talking to her and stopping her 
And right away when I was reading her cards, I told her the, the key, what I'm getting here, the key for you to really just get off your track and start going about your purpose and do what you need to do for your higher good, for your higher self. I said, imagine bolt cutters, okay? And even in the cards, there was like chains in the cards. And right away, what came to me was she had binded herself put weights on herself that were keeping her low instead of going higher, bigger, and better where she's supposed to be going. And we were sitting across from each other and I told her, I said, I want you to imagine you have these big, massive, golden, godly, like bolt cutters, okay? And I said, I want you to look down at your feet and physically take your hands and go like this and imagine you are cutting those chains off of you. And instantly, just like that, her and I both felt like we were lifted. The, the energy exchange was just phenomenal. <clears throat> I loved it. But it something that silly, like it, it totally worked for her. Instantly she felt lighter and more uplifted and like all this weight was just taken off of her. So uh, there's like another example of some of the tools that, you know, if you're working with someone who's, who's professional, who's ethical, who's really in it to help people, that is the kind of reading that you will get. You will not, you, you don't want someone who's going to say, I offer this additional service for this amount of money or anything to get more money out of you or to have you walk out that door feeling scared, nervous, uncertain, that was a way wrong, bad reading if you walk out, if you walk out the door feeling like that. Um, so they're, they're just my quick little tips on how to know if you're working with a scam artist, um, con artist, getting ripped off with a reading, what to expect. So I think that's pretty much if I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, just uh, that's what you need to watch out for. And like I said, pay attention to your intuition. Everybody has psychic abilities your sixth sense everybody's heard of that it's your intuition it's your gut your gut instinct everybody's heard of mother's intuition if you just have a feeling you know what this don't feel right or you're not you're not ready don't do it don't go to that person and like i said the second if that person starts talking about black clouds and i mean there's yeah a lot of people have will have negative things on them but if like I said, if they're offering, pay me some more money and I'll take care of it for you. Just, I, I just get up and walk away. That, that person is not, not at all who you want to be dealing with. You want that positive uplifting. There's a way to present certain things. Even if things are shits hitting the fan and things are not good, you want the keys to how to unlock the other door to bring in that change and that happiness. You should always walk away from a reading feeling empowered, enlightened, having a better um, sense of knowledge or there's so many different positive things you want to walk away with. So just keep that in mind. And I think that's it. Okay. All right. I got stuff to do. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh. If you enjoyed the video, if you gave you some good insight, please give it a thumbs up. If you've had experiences that you want to share, other tips that you want to add on to this video, feel free to comment below so other people can see them and, and learn, or maybe I missed something that you want to fill in. So, but yeah, all right, I got to go. See you guys later.